Well, hello there, my RPG Pro viewers, and today I decided, you know what? Let's stop with those other RPG RPG games, let's plays, and let's do something completely different. And so I decided, what what game better to do than Paper Mario Color Splash? Let's get to this. And if you guys can't hear anything, sorry, my volume don't work, but. You'll be able to see hear things during cutscenes. Cause my Wii U gamepad will be able to record sound. Yay. Oh yeah, and I love this game. I only played up to the first boss. So yeah. I don't know anything about this game after that point. Oh. Oh no. Oh, yeah, that's not what they're actually saying in their heads, actually. The thin heads. Probably, but. Yeah. Probably can't even hear this that great. Yeah. But yeah, I, mean, I, love, I might do the other Paper Mario games, but probably. I don't know how they'll do on that. Okay, I don't know why, but I don't know if I want to do um uh, Super Paper Mario because I don't know if I even be able to get that game, or I probably won't be able to do um uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, which is one of the best Paper Mario games I've ever played. Oh, yeah, let's get right into this. Here. If you guys see hear anything in the background, that's my brother. He's excited because he's playing. Or we hit Wii U with, um, our grandma, but, yeah, it's just, if you hear anything in the background, it's probably just him. He's allowed. Oh, huh. Where is everybody? There's Princess Peach. I think maybe during the battles, you'll only, hear, you'll only be able to hear the battle. Thing, you'll be able to hear the music behind it, but yeah. I think this part. I thought, I thought this was. Uh, how is this supposed to be? My tourist, tourist destination, but it seemed a little quiet. Don't you think? Yeah, weird. Oh. I even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for the for Princess Peach and the world famous Mario. Speaking of Mario. Mario, we're here. What up? Oh. Oh. That was a quite a storm last night, wasn't it? Good for a Ha. You look like a used gum wrapper. <laughs> didn't expect that to be me. Find yourself out, man. There's gonna be chosen to be voice. What you gotta do? Press A. Press A. Mario. I might do Super Mario RPG The Legend of Seven Stars. Hopefully, it's, it's not a for sure thing. Oh, shoot. I can read any of this. And the only clue we have is that it was postmarked here for Prisma. Not a word, Princess. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't believe you have to do, it. do this. <laughs> okay. We'll want to head to Prisma Fountain in the center of town. It's a tourist attra attraction. Jeez. I should have been able to see that. I said the perfect. I, okay, I read this the first time I played this, and I said that perfectly. So it's like, I can't do it now. I'm here. Maybe we'll r run into some locals. You know, help us out. Sounds like a plan. But I'm not a bad feeling about this the place. Let's proceed with caution. Here we go. We can't go through this way yet. Can you decide? Why there's no sign? That's like bad design 101. Who approved this layout? Oh. Go over here and jump up and I failed miserably. And check, we got 
yourself a hammer. You got a hammer. Score. Totally makes up for me accidentally tossing your hammer overboard during the voyage. Don't you let you do that. I have a third YouTube channel now, guys. I'm not lying, I actually do. I will be putting the, uh, the link down in the description, but... Yeah, I think you guys know about my second channel. But my third channel is actually with a friend of mine. Already seen that one of those videos called "A Friend Reacting to My Own Videos." That video. Okay, yeah, we're here in. Everything's almost all white, and there's paper flying. Wow, this is a real ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain Toad? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem right. I'll take a look around and see if I can find anyone. There's no mistaking that postmark on the poor Toad. He was definitely mailed from Port Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? What? Look at that 600 device is rose the fountain. Maybe you should take a closer look at it. Huh. Check. Emergency recovery, recovery unit. In case of emergency, activate these three hidden switches in the plaza. Blue, hit, yellow, pull, red, jump. Probably one. Probably the blue. Oh, I see something over there. That might be the red. Well, obviously. There we go. We hit the red. And I think the yellow one. Yep, yellow right here. Okay, there we go. Paint can. <laughs> Plot twist. The, the emergency unit is the paint can. Plot twist, everyone. <laughs> You're hitting it. It's Huey. Ow. What was that for? How could you use someone? How would you like it if, if I locked you in the head hammer while you were sleeping? Oh, we're sorry. It's just that we thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. Open you up. Paint can. You think I'm just some regular paint can? Alright. You don't look like you're from around here. So, I forgive you for that comment. But, I'm so much more than just a regular paint can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something for a treat? Um, actually, hold on. We were actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from our town. Only it's not an ordinary, no, ordinary letter. It's a toad, drained of color and postmark from Port Prisma. And let me introduce myself. I am Princess Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom. And this is my friend, Mario. He jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. And, also, and I also have a bright and hardworking retainer around here some. If some sound effects will play on the gamepad, it's I don't get it. So, ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what was that? Stop! Get off me! And there goes Huey. That didn't sound good. 
That sounded like Toad. He might be here or in trouble. We're coming, Toad. Okay. Well, here we go. Back over here to go to... Okay. <gasps> Stop it! My, my beautiful colors. Goodness, what what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me. I, I can't feel my pants. But I did find something that might come in handy. Take these and remember me fondly. Got a bunch of cards. Oh no, what's going on with this color? He was just a blank sheet of paper. No, Toad, no, Toad, uh, Toad, no. Four, what are you waiting for, Mario? Use those battle cards on the second. Four, four, he, here he comes. Hold it. Do you, do you have, do you even have any paint, Mario? What? You know, paint, that colorful stuff. Poison through our bodies, no? What are we gonna do? There's no pain around here. Ah, there's no other choice. Or you're gonna have to rig me out. Just press A and give me a squeeze. Here we go. Getting some paint here. And now he's paper. Apparently. Reaching the time limit here, guys. All right, enough laughing in the wind. The paint you, you ingest absorb is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. You have to time to shower later. Use that paint to power up those cards your friend gave you. And then those ba and then use those battle cards to plaster this uh, this unsolved sassy. Okay, so. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and tacky now. I mean, if that's cool. No, that's definitely not cool. I mean, since when are there three of you? No, oh, whatever. We've got cards. We've got paint. You know what to do, Mario. Okay, I guess the battle music won't be playing then. You have no idea what, what to do, do you? No worries, Uncle Huey's here to give you a primer. You'll be able to hear the sound effects that's going on the thing, and I will be reading the things that he's saying. So, here are all the cards we've got from the Toad. They're called battle cards, for obvious reasons. Each one lets you perform an action in battle. The pictures on the cards should give you an idea of the general uh, general idea. For example, this one has, has two loops on it. It means the card will let you jump attack two times. The number of icons on the card shows the number of attacks. This big old boot here will let you do a super powerful jump attack. The bigger icons, the stronger the attack. Simple, right? Okay, now pick a card and drag it into a spot. So this is like the spot where you drag the cards onto, and then it'll send you on the top. It'll say cards ready. So it says tap red card ready when you are ready to move forward with this card. Go ahead, give it a try. You press it, and then it'll bring you to a thing where you paint the card. So it'll be like so. He's saying now. Next, you can add paint to the card. And you've selected just touch the card with your finger to paint it. The more you paint it, the stronger it will be. So that's what that noise was. Paint as much or as little as you like. And then tap done painting. And you tap that, and then after that you will be you will be able to attack. So the same thing there. When you are ready to play the card, just flick it upward to start the fight. And there we go. Alright. Now, here's where the action really heats up. Press A at a critical point of 
of an attack will increase the damage you, you do or earn one bonus tax. For the jump attacks, press A before stomping on your foe. If you time your attacks well, you can do, uh, do up to 5 jumps. That's a, lot, a whole lot of stomping. You can, you can also tap the gamepad on the screen instead of pressing A. I'd rather press A. Three! So many. Well, see you in the next episode.